Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Either way, I am so happy that you decided to click on today's video. I don't think I have ever been so excited to share a video with you guys. I worked super hard on this one. We spent the entire weekend working on this project and I am just thrilled to finally be sharing with you guys. We did an entire overhaul of our playroom which was much needed as you probably could tell from the before clips. This room is not functional for us. It is such a mess so we are revamping the entire thing. I got an entire new organization system from Ikea. We are hanging decor and we ended up doing a last minute decision and doing a DIY chalkboard wall. We painted it ourselves and I am super excited about it. The after of this room looks so good and you guys will not even believe that it is the same space but I just cannot wait to share it with you guys so let's just get right into it. The very first thing I did was move all of the toys and furniture to the other side of the room that we are not going to be working in. So this side was completely empty, I had a ton of space to work and I wanted to make sure I could give it a good deep clean before bringing anything else in. I had to close the blinds because the sun was super bright while I was trying to show you guys this, but this is what we are working with. It looks like so much more stuff when it is on this side. We are probably going to have to get rid of a lot of this because this is just insane. But this is the clean side. I'm going to go through, clean the baseboards, wipe down the walls, vacuum, and then we're going to start building the new set. So I'm really excited. It looks so good when it's empty. If only it could stay like this and be practical. But this is reality. <laughs> Just let go, lose control, play songs on the radio too loud. This could be magical. I am so, so, so excited to finally have this playroom how I want it. It is literally the perfect little kid's corner and I cannot wait to show you guys the after at the end of this video. We worked really hard and things just came together. We did a lot of last minute planning as well. We did not plan on doing the chalkboard wall until like 9 p.m. the second night we were in here. We ordered the prints off of Etsy super last minute and it just ended up coming together and working out perfectly. So I guess that's just how projects work sometimes. I am also the most indecisive person on the entire planet. I feel like I cannot make a decision to save my life, which is probably not the best way to be, but it is just how I always have been. So it felt really good to just decide and get things done and just make it happen. So I'm super proud of myself and I'm super proud of all the work we put into this room. Let me know down below what room you guys would do in your home if you could do a complete transformation. I think the next room after this playroom is going to be my office. We do have an office downstairs off of the living room. I don't share it very often because right now it is just a catch-all. It is a complete chaotic mess and I cannot wait to do that room. So that is definitely my next one, but let me know down below what room you guys would pick if you could do a complete flip or overhaul. I did a ton of research when it came to toy storage and toy organization systems and I also asked you guys in a comment a couple videos back if you thought the Calyx system from Ikea was a good option because I was seeing a lot of it on Pinterest and I really liked the way it looked and a ton of you guys said you would 100% recommend it so that is what I went with. I got two of the larger double units and then one of the single units and then 16 of the boxes that come with 
with them. So I was ready to go. Everything went together perfectly and I was really happy with how it turned out. You guys will see shortly. It just looks really good and there is so much space in these boxes. I was really happy with them. So I'm looking forward to organizing these and getting them labeled. I think I'm going to use my Cricut and just like a white iron-on vinyl. I think that would look really good but I want to make sure I have my system down before I put anything like that on them. Now we are going to be moving on to day number two. The first day was definitely more of the cleaning and prep work, building the cabinets and everything like that. Now we are going to be diving in to this mess. I was a little bit overwhelmed looking into here and was kind of dreading it, but once I got started, it went super smoothly and I was just having a lot of fun with it. I did throw out quite a few toys, I donated a ton and it felt really good to just declutter the area. I have been wanting to do it for so long but like I said it was just a little bit of an overwhelming task that I just kept putting it off. Let me know if you guys have any of those in your house. I thought that the bins might not be enough, but it ended up being way more space than we even needed. I think I ended up with three or four empty bins, so we have room to grow, but I was just kind of organizing stuff with VTech tracks, Hot Wheel stuff, Grayson superheroes, stuff like that, just kind of categorizing stuff as much as I could. And I think I left one box as a miscellaneous box with stuff that didn't really have a home. If you are new here, I did want to quickly say welcome. I am so happy that you found my channel. My name is Aaliyah and I am a mom of two. I do have a three-year-old little boy and a two-year-old little girl and I am currently 28 weeks pregnant with baby number three. We are expecting another baby girl in May and we are just so excited for her to get here. I do post new cleaning motivation videos every single week here on my channel so if that is something you are interested in, make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below below so you don't miss any of it. I do have a lot of home improvement projects coming, a lot of room transformations kind of like this one and I am just really looking forward to sharing those with you all. Also, if you guys are not already, make sure you head over to Instagram and follow me over there as well. I am slowly trying to grow my little business over there as well and I would love the support. I also do share a lot more of my family and I am going to be sharing Hopefully some stories when baby is born over on my Instagram page, so it is linked down below if you are interested. I have really been enjoying asking you guys questions in my videos and then you give me your answer in the comment section. It's just a really fun way to get to know you guys better and get to chat with you a little bit. So my question for today's video is, are you more of a coffee drinker or a tea drinker? I personally really enjoy both. I do love coffee and I do love tea, but if I had to choose one, it would definitely be coffee. I love my coffee in the morning. I always have a hot coffee and then I usually enjoy an iced coffee in the afternoon. I don't know if I could pick between hot and cold but 
I definitely am on team coffee, so let me know down below. Do you guys love your coffee or are you definitely a tea drinker? So this is what we are working with so far. I am so happy with this unit. This is the Calyx unit from Ikea, if I haven't said that already. But I'm not sure about what I'm going to stick up here. This is just what I have for now because I don't really have a home for it. I put a couple games here, another game up there because it didn't fit, and then they're kind of VTech laptops and books here. We do still have a couple empty bins. So we have room to grow. I do kind of have a miscellaneous box here that I'm going to go through and kind of separate throughout the empty bins but I'm actually going to run to Michael's right now because I did buy some prints off Etsy so I want to get those printed out and hung up so hopefully that is the next step and I will be back soon to show you guys. I ordered a couple of prints off of Etsy. I did go with two superheroes for Grayson and two princesses for Rowan and they were in love with these. They were probably their favorite part of the entire playroom. I can't remember the shop but I will try to find it if anyone is interested. They are super cute. They're kind of watercolored and all we did was order the digital copy and Justin printed them off onto some canvases and we hung them up. So I thought these looked perfect for the playroom. I like how there is nothing breakable about them if they get knocked down and they just kind of tied the entire space together. This was about 9 p.m. on Sunday night and we decided why not add a chalkboard wall. This was something I was super nervous about but Justin was really pushing for it and thought it would be a great idea. So that is what we did. I ran to Home Depot, grabbed some chalkboard paint and he taped it and then I got started with painting. This actually did not take very long at all with cutting in and rolling it. It probably took me about half an hour each time. I did end up doing this coat Sunday night. I woke up early Monday morning and did the second coat, which I didn't film. And then I will show you guys when I applied the third coat. You probably could get away with only doing two coats of this, but I did have a couple patches that I found looked a little blotchy and I just wanted to fix them so I could just do one and done and not worry about it ever again. I do love the way this looks. It looks super matte and it honestly looks just like a chalkboard, but we have not been able to test it out yet because you do have to wait three days before drawing on it. So I am really hoping it works out like it says it does. This paint had a ton of great reviews. I think it was the Rustoleum. That could be wrong, but if that's a paint brand, that's what we went with. And it was only $30 for the can, so it was a really inexpensive DIY. And I am super excited to break it in and let the kids try it when it is ready. This is the hard way to better. 
I didn't even think about it until I sat down and started editing these clips, but I 100% acknowledge that I probably should have been wearing a mask while I was painting. The idea honestly didn't even cross my mind. I am not a huge painter, but it definitely would have been a safer decision and I will definitely be wearing one for any future painting projects. I got this boy on my mind that I can't live without all his eyes I can be And he keeps talking about everything that he likes and I can't stop listening I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time I'm thinking about him all the time, all the time And my heart's beating fast when he's looking like that Oh, his smile is killing me It's the way that he moves and the way that he laughs So I can't get enough thinking about him This is the third and final day of the playroom project and I was so excited to get this room finished. My kids were dying to get in here to play and I was tired of arguing with them about why they couldn't get in here yet. I just didn't want them touching the wet chalkboard wall and I was also nervous because we had not yet anchored the calyx systems to the wall but we did do that. I don't think I filmed any of that but like I said we definitely did it so don't worry nothing is going to fall. I am working on the third coat of paint on the chalkboard wall here. Like I said, I did do the second one earlier in the day. I just didn't film it, but it is still patchy and blotchy as I'm sure you can tell from these clips. So the third coat was definitely needed and it ended up looking so good after it dried. Okay, you guys, 72 hours later, we are finally done this playroom makeover and I am so, so happy with how it turned out. This is the perfect little corner for the kids and they are going to absolutely love it. We did throw in a couple things that we weren't really planning for the weekend, but sometimes that's just how projects go and I am just so happy we ended up biting the bullet and doing it. So we did this DIY chalkboard wall. Unfortunately, we can't draw on it for, I think three days, you have to just kind of let it sit and cure before you draw on it with chalk, but I can't wait to see that in action. I think the kids are going to love it and I think it kind of just ties in the whole kid corner. We also got these four prints off of Etsy. Yeah, I ordered them off of Etsy for a couple of bucks and then Justin printed them off onto canvas. Again, I think they just make this space for the kids so much cuter. And then of course, the Calyx systems from Ikea, which I would recommend 100% to anybody. They have so much space and I just kind of organize them like into themes. Like there's all Grace and superheroes. There's all the Hot Wheels stuff and the little people, the characters, stuff like that. So tons of space and I just could not be any happier. It is so much more functional and pretty and I am just so excited and now I want to redo every room in my entire house. But that is going to be it for today's video, you guys. It's actually Monday evening when I am finishing filming this so now I have to go and edit the entire video for tomorrow morning. This project did take quite a bit longer than I thought it would, but like I said, we kept adding stuff and sometimes that's just how it goes, but I'm so happy we did. I just feel like it turned out so great. Let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let me know what else you guys would like to see on my channel. I really enjoyed doing this little room makeover, so I think I might do a couple more of these. I would love to do my office. It's pretty much just an empty catch-all space right now. We also have my formal dining room. I'm so sorry. I'm so out of breath. I'm, I'm very out of breath. I don't know. I feel like I'm 40 weeks pregnant, but I'm only 28, so awesome. But <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this one, and I will see you all in next week's video. Bye. If you want, I can be a fan.